Jared Bryan, how y'all doing? This is a uh, chipped or dipped um, channel that I just created basically because I've been listening to uh, the Holy Spirit recently and uh, I've been getting um, more and more, um, I guess basically a reason to step out on faith from what I was doing and not affecting anyone to what I'm doing now. So I'm just going to introduce myself. I'm going to let you know what the channel is going to be like, what it's going to be about. Um, I recently just saw a live person get chipped, um, on another program, a news channel covered it. They got chipped and I know that the hour is near when Christ will return. And I was doing a job and I just walked away from it, one of my jobs and I'm going to try and walk away from the other job in the next two months. So not try, there is no try, there's only do or do not. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to, uh, throw out a little Star Wars quote there, but, uh, cause my wife hates Star Wars. <laughs> but anyway, my wife's name is Nadia Bryan. My daughter's name is Atika Bryan. Um, my name is Jared Bryan and I have two sons, Patrick and Braxton, who are back in North Carolina right now. We just moved to Colorado. We were in Highlands Ranch. God put us in a place called, um, Harvest Lane of all places. And, um, we're just excited. Um, I'm excited to preach the word. I've never done anything like this. I am the last person that I ever thought would be a preacher. I've had a crazy walk and um, I, I know that what we have confessed and professed over this ministry, I know will come to pass because, and that's kind of the thing I'm going to talk to you all a little bit today about words because that's something my wife and I are trying to change this year. So anyway, before I get started, I'm decreeing over this ministry and this channel. Um, I'm decreeing Job 22, 28. It says, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. I claim that it shines upon this ministry. And also Luke 21, 33, and Matthew 24, 35, and Mark 13, 31 all deal with this. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And I'm going to go into more of this on following, um, you know, programs that I put out. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to let you know, our words are powerful, but God's words can't be returned void. And basically, the word is your weapon. The word is the sword of God. And that's been something that I've been really getting revelation on. Um, the last thing I wanted to kind of just kind of share with you all um, just a little bit about where we kind of came from. So we were in we were in uh, North Carolina. We just got, I think, three or four states. We were down to three or four states, and I was trying to listen to the Holy Spirit while still being unsaved um, and, you know, trying to figure out what, what I needed to do. Um, and we moved from North Carolina following the Holy Spirit's direction to Colorado, which was kind of crazy. And we ended up in a place that's very, um, very a nice area. And we, what we did basically was come from North Carolina to Colorado in about, um, I think we were, it was a two week trip. We ended up being in Missouri when I found out that the guy that I was supposed to be working for, that I had a job offer, he basically uh, was a drug dealer, and he got arrested while we were in Missouri. So I had to tell my family that, you know, we don't have income, but we ended up staying at a hotel, and we figured it out. And actually, the place where we would have been was way different than where God put us, onto Harvest Lane. And we are calling on a harvest because we know that the harvest is plenty, but the reapers are few. And I plan to be a reaper, so does my wife, and we are called... We we're called to help out the unsaved, and we're just going to be moving forward. I just got I just got baptized. I was a baptized as a child, but I recommitted my life to Christ, and I had my wife baptize me actually in our bathtub at home. And uh, I don't know if we were using Epsom salts that day or not. It was it was good. I do, uh, I do love the fact that uh, my wife baptized me, and I'm excited that um, after that I asked for the Holy Spirit to uh, baptize me. 
and uh, just come into my heart. And he started to speak to me, and uh, I hadn't heard his voice in a long time. I'm really excited about it, and um, I just I know that it's going to be, um, you know, there's a lot of situations more with our story, and I just am scratching the surface a little bit, but I'm stepping out. God came up to um, professional fishermen and he said, hey, stop what you're doing and follow me. So, and their, their trades were a lot better than mine. I just deliver packages and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about following the Lord. I'm excited about moving forward. I don't know where this is going to take us. And uh, I just know that it's just taking us up. We're going to get closer to Christ as we go. We're going to be doing a lot of Q&A on here. We're going to be doing a lot of reading from KJV. And we're going to be doing a lot of discussion kind of stuff. If you have questions, you can ask me. I'm kind of going to be going and doing Bible study. I'll go into like Jonah. I recently just went into Jonah and, and compared Jonah with uh, Jesus and traits like that. And I got so much out of that, gang. It's going to be really fun. We'll do that one day. We'll just start doing different things that you guys, you know, want to check out. And we'll start, we'll start just getting in the Word. So I just wanted to welcome myself to YouTube and... Uh, this is my little girl, Tika, who's coming over to say hi, too. Say hi. <laughs> All right. You want to, Mom, you want to show, show them yourself, or you want to say hi real quick? All right. Well, you guys have a nice day, and uh, we'll probably see you uh, in two days. Thank you. Bye.